Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we have seen as of late KRA has failed to meet their target in terms of collection of revenues in billions. And with all this, now they are raising issues that they are seeing uh, business operators now asking their customers not to pay through the mobile money using the till number but now asking for cash so KRA they are complaining that business men and women are opting to use cash rather than paying through the bank or the mobile money <laughs> I don't know if we have any law in this country whereby uh, Anyone in this country is forced to pay via mobile phone, money, or bank. We don't have such law in this country. It is just those who, who, who wish to do so or who are willing to use a mobile money payment rather than using the solid cash. And this is what was shared here by NTV Kenya. KRS says it has not it has noted a trend where business which used to get payments through Lipa and Mpesa buy good steel numbers are now asking customers to pay cash. And they were reacting to a post maybe they found somewhere in a shop. And this is what was shared. Dear esteemed customers, due to the increased cost of transaction, transacting via mobile and banks, we will not be using pay bill or buy goods as from 1st October 2023. Kindly pay cash or withdraw. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience. We appreciate your trust and loyalty and are committed to your satisfaction by management. That is a notice, a notice that KRA was reacting to. So the big question has been <laughs> why are business people refusing to take, uh, to sell through a mobile money transaction and banks? Why are they resorting to solid cash? That is the big question because then KRA is coming here to complain that this model of transaction is not favoring them. That is the big question. Because this government was much focused. They want to collect more. We saw William Ruto lecturing KRA officers at the at their office there. He walked there very early in the morning and he gave a lot of, a, a, a huge lecture to KRA. Is it time now? And he was talking about the issue of dealing with corruption, the way KRA officers are now colliding with the business people to evade taxes. Then we thought that they are going to sort this out and they are going to maximize in terms of collecting revenue. Instead, the opposite is happening. It is backfiring. Before we continue with this discussion, just a quick request for those who are uh, for those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, there are several reasons why people are deciding to use cash. Even those who are buying are now learning that it is better even they buy by using cash rather than mobile transaction model or through the bank. Because <laughs> if you ask simple questions here, number one, why should KRA tax Mamamboga twice? I'm just using an example of Mamamboga because we also have Border Border and other retailers who are being taxed. Why are they being taxed twice? If you check properly, 
the business people outside here, in any market, they are taxed more than one time. Every day they pay tax to the city council as carries. The first thing they do. They also pay bribe for security. Yani umelipia tax ya kufana biashara. Then you have also to pay for the security of your product. Mahali penye unaeka ulipie. Ndiyo sasa ukuja kesho usipate wameipa. They also got an action of paying private cleaners who collect their solid waste. No many people kwa kanzo. They also pay for toilet, which is which which used to be uh, the public toilet for the NCC. Why are they paying for toilet? Wale watu kwa Nairobi kulikuwa na Nairobi County Council kulikuwa na cho and the various areas you go to. Sababu mambo si Nairobi peke yake. We have count council toilets. They were there. Then at the end of the day, the KRA want them to remit monthly taxes. The question is what service are they being overtaxed for? This is overtaxing. People have learned they are being overtaxed. So how many times do you pay? Because of this, and now the 16%, it is making people to look for other ways to avoid being overtaxed. And that's why people are ditching the mobile money way model of transaction in terms of when you are doing business. Mambo ya kulipa na till watu wamekata. Hata wale wakununua wameanza kukataa kwa sababu for example ukienda kwa <laughs> kwa hardware wanakuambia unataka tukupee ATR receipt ama receipt ya kawaida so you make a decision the ATR receipt you pay more receipt ya kawaida kuna kiwango wanakuachia kwa sababu hiyo ni biashara kati yako na hardware operator kwa nini wanaona hata mtu wa kawaida analipa ushuru mingi so you help them is a win win situation that's why they are thinking that the, the people are ditching those models to have other ways because whoever the lipa ushuru ulipia security ulipia mtu wa uchafu cleaners wa account wanafanya kazi gani na kwa nini ulipa ushuru it is because they have to offer service from you right from security to cleanliness Na wajenge vibanda za kufanyia kazi. Kwa nini ulipe mtu wa private akuondolee uchafu? Kwa nini ulipe security na unatoa ushuru? Corruption. They don't offer service, they just collect taxes. Badala ya kulipa watu wafanya usafi huko wanataka wakule yote. Watu wanaona hapana, tutafanya kazi hivi. We better look for our own ways of surviving. Hata kujenga tu mitaro ya kupitisha uchafu, drain system ni mbaya. There's no value for our taxes. No return for our taxes. We cannot see any tangible development because of this behavior and character. People are learning that this government is just milking, milking us dry and there's nothing we can see any tangible results from our taxes that they get from us instead is trip after trip to me one of the they spend in tune of billions in those trips trip moja unasikia half a billion hey yambi awisef so you are over taxing people even companies they are now employing casuals Una employ watu wafanya kazi wiki moja ama wiki mbili unawatoa unaleta another group wafanya kazi because you don't want to employ them permanently for the obvious reasons na hii serikali ya ushuru mingi so with all this 
business people are looking for ways of survival and KRA has become one of the biggest losers. In a Kibaki time, everyone was happy and willing to pay taxes because Kibaki had created an environment that enabled business to thrive. Ruto has made it very hard to create that environment which is so much friendly to grow the business. So business are dying. He's choking the business. The environment is unfriendly to anyone who wants to start the business, those who are running their business. You overtaxed people. You target business. You want to kill them. He even says they want to bring down Safaricom. They talked about ile mutu ya maziwa na walikuwa naongelea uhuru Kenyatta. He said wamekuwa ni cartels in the in the milk industry. So you want to bring them down. Hawakujua ni watu wangapi ambao wanaajiriwa kazi kwa hizo kampuni. Ni watu wangapi wanalipa ushuru hata kwa kuajiriwa kazi. In so many ways this regime is clueless. And because they have refused to listen maybe to advisors and they are messing with the economy and this is the result. So you want Mamboga to be left with a nil monthly profit. Then you want to earn everything. Mamboga, Boda Boda and other retailers including the companies. They also are looking for a way to make sure that KRA is earning nil. And the journey has just started. And if this is the way Kenya Kwanza is going to govern, it will reach to a point when this country will become ungovernable, revolution will emerge because of economic sabotage by William Ruto policies. The 2023 Finance Bill, which is now Finance Act, was the biggest enemy to the economy. And that's why people are playing smart. You can't force Kenyans to pay through mobile money model. You cannot. That ukiyala kununua kitu lazimu tumie mobile money. Hapa siyo mamba ya dictatorship. So KRA have to look for a way of working friendly with people. This regime should understand that people are in business and they have to look for a friendly way which is a win-win situation for the businessmen and for the government so that people will pay tax happily kama ile serikali ya kibaki but when you are, when you want to overtax everything then you end up losing everything